So I watched the series and I have so many questions, but I'm under strict instructions not to give away any spoilers sure. okay. because all information is being kept under uh, lock and key. Uh, but lock for those key. people who haven't the seen- The show has like a weird magnetic <laughs> relationship with puns. Yes, yes. yes. Those people who aren't <laughs> familiar with the comic, yeah. what can you tell us about the show? Okay, so for me, some of the things I love about this show is it is, there's nothing really like it on air. It is based on the best-selling graphic novels um, by Joe Hill and Gabrielle Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. It's like a Stranger Things meets a Harry Potter, sprinkle a little Chronicles of Narnia, maybe some Lost in Space. It's, and it's a yeah. show that everybody can watch, like kids, adults, the whole family. And I kind of like that because and there's not a lot of shows like that that yeah. entertain everybody. Exactly. It's a story, essentially, about this yeah. family who has been through, before the story starts, this awful trauma. Yeah and they move across country into their father's old ancestral home mm -hmm. that's full of mystery. Key house. And they don't really know anything about him, about it and a lot of his life and who he was and how he died are mysterious. And in this new house, they discover these magical keys that all have different powers and that unlock crazy worlds for and them. the possibilities are And infinite. also, there's a demon who's, who's chasing after these keys as well. So they find themselves this very ordinary family plunged into life or death state danger yeah right i really like how there's the fant dark fantasy yeah. magical side but also it's grounded in this real family family, tra yes. uh, family drama yes. and how are the keys helping the family and especially the kids to kind of cope with this grief that they're going through oh, good what question. i what i like so much about the comics and what i hope comes up across in the show is that underneath all the magic there's a story I think it's really beautiful about what it means to be a kid and what it means to grow up and what it means to grow up with trauma, you know, and how that changes mm -hmm. you and how you can grow those changes into your body and how you can, how it changes your relationships mm -hmm. you have with your siblings and your parents. Gosh, and each kid processes it so differently. And I think uh, you tie that to the mother who can't see the magic and so thinks that the isolation from them is just because of her bad parenting and their grief that adds another layer of complexity for the kids that they can't talk to their mom about this. And these keys are yeah. just like a tool in a way to a tool of discovery. You know, yeah. Hopefully you feel a sense of discovery when you watch the show sure. uh, but there's also this internal discovery of these kids are figuring out who they are and these keys are pushing them to do that. And uh, if, if, if the show has any weight, hopefully that's where it comes from. If uh, in real life you could discover one of these keys and use it, what key would you choose to use? I would choose the anywhere key. Oh. Um, because the idea of being able to go anywhere and everywhere would be quite exciting. Especially with not having to fly and, you know, lowering the carbon footprint of yep. my <laughs> of my life would be quite great. But um, that key just seems really exciting. And also, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of life or death consequences to using that key. Because some of these keys are very dangerous. Yes. So I'm nervous about picking some of the other keys. But go ahead. I, go ahead. Tell us the I, key I, you're going to pick. I, just, I feel like, honestly, though, if I... With the number of times I've locked myself out of my apartment and the amount of money I've spent on locksmiths, if yeah. I could just have my apartment key <laughs> with me at all times, that would save me a lot of hassle. Sure. But uh, no, I, I, it changes a little bit every day. But my um, right now, the mood that I'm in today, it's like mm -hmm. uh, the ghost key because it it's the most mysterious one. It has you can you can fly, you can turn invisible, and you can talk to the dead. And it's sort of all three powers dead? wrapped up in a single key. <laughs> I, it feels like it has a lot of uh, potential. Potential. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to Hey you, you Guys. I like your key choices. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!